Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Durb with your family of Faith Victory Church right here in the capital city of Frankfort, Kentucky. And just delighted to be able to share with you in the truths of God's Word once again. Luke 1 37 says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. And just welcome to another tremendous Tuesday. And in the studio with me once again, I have Pastor Jason Carter from his powerful church down there in Nicholasville, Kentucky, Sozo Church. Pastor Jason, welcome once again. Thank you, sir. Pleasure to be here. Yesterday, we started out on this living this life of faith. And our springboard verse, I want to read it again, and I want to try to turn you loose. You get two <laughs> preachers together with microphones in front of them. They just yes, want sir. to take off. Yes, sir. But in Romans chapter 1, verse 16 and 17, it says, For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed mm. from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Yes, sir. Now, uh, we see here that the just, the just mm -hmm. shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. And then Romans chapter 3 and uh, verse uh, 27, he goes on to explain that this faith is actually a law. Yeah. <laughs> it's a law of faith. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when Jesus told Peter, I give you the keys of the kingdom. Yes, sir. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Well, I believe the keys of the kingdom are spiritual laws, mm -hmm. like the law of love, the law of seed, time, and harvest, and certainly the law of faith. Yes, sir. And we can take those laws uh, from the fourth dimensional world, the spirit realm, if you will, mm -hmm. and bring it into this three-dimensional world and live victoriously. Is that how you see this? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um... Uh, makes makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, Word of God tells us that Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. Mm. And so he's the one that wrote the book on what a life of faith is to live like. Mm -hmm. And then when we start in our journey of faith, he finishes it for us. And you can see that law of faith not only being in operation in Jesus's life, but if, if I can, also with Peter. Mm. Here Jesus comes down. He's walking on the water. Third mm. watch of the night. Mm. They're scared. Mm -hmm. Think he's a ghost. Mm -hmm. They holler. Yeah. These are professional fishermen. Right. They see him. Ah, it's mm -hmm. a ghost. Mm -hmm. He said, be not afraid. Mm -hmm. It is I. And that Jesus is walking on the water by the law of faith. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. He said, I don't do anything I haven't seen my father do. I don't say anything I haven't heard my father say that right there in a nutshell is how faith operates. You find out what the father wants and you say what the father says. And we got the written word. We have the written word and you get the father's results when you do that. Mm -hmm. So here Jesus says, walking on the water. And then Peter, if it be you, mm -hmm. bid me to come unto thee mm -hmm. on the water. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, come. Mm -hmm. And right there, Peter steps out of that boat and now he's operating. In the law of faith. You know, when you said that, uh, Peter, out of all the words he could have said, yeah, he didn't say, uh, just say your name, Jesus, or uh, just say, uh, yes. He mm. said, come. Yes. If it be you, bid me this four letter word, come. Yes. Because Peter knew what happened when Jesus told him earlier in his life. Come, mm. and I'll make you fishers of men. Oh, he had heard it. He had heard, and he knew what happened inside of him. When yeah. He, and he was, there, he was there at Lazarus' tomb when he said, heard Jesus say, come forth. Yes, sir. And he said, now, this, if this is you, make make my faith leap again. Yeah. Make 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 it make it make it leap to where I'm not looking at this storm, yeah. and say it. And if and if it happens on the inside like it did in the past, I know it. You. Yeah. And that's what the that's what whether the word of God is coming through us through the written word, mm -hmm. or if we're hearing Him through the Spirit, mm -hmm. it inspires us to do the things that faith that faith provides for us in our life. Mm -hmm. um, I, just reading here in our in our jump off scripture that just stood out to me real 
real strongly here when you read it was, he says, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power. Mm. Peter got to experience what it was like to be in the power of mm-hmm. God, whether when Jesus told him, come follow me or come out on the water, mm-hmm. or when he saw Lazarus come forth, mm-hmm. he could hear that. He felt, he knew that the power of God was on those words. Mm-hmm. But he says here, the power of God unto salvation, it's to everyone that believes. Yeah. It's to those that believe. He upholds all things by the word of his power. Yes, sir. You know, uh, uh, it says, going back to that account where uh, Peter walked on water, Mm -hmm. it says, and when Peter was come Mm -hmm. out of the ship, Mm -hmm. when he took the come Mm -hmm. and put it in the press, I mean, in the past. Yes, sir. When Peter was come. Oh, yeah. Then he walked on the water. Yeah. See, and uh, a lot of things God is telling us to come. Mm Mm-hmm. Come and I and, and and you know, come and and I got all this for you, but we got to take where he is bidding us to come to make it a was come. Absolutely. Like when when you come to Jesus for salvation, when that 1988, mm-hmm. 2 30 in the afternoon, 16 <clears throat> July, cocaine run around my brain, volumes in my veins, I Jesus was saying, Come. Yes. And when that come was a was come, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Then I began, if you will, to walk on water. The things that uh, was drowning me before, the mm-hmm. things that were uh, drugs, alcohol, perversion, and all that. I'm now uh, walking on top of yeah. it. Right. Jesus said, "Whosoever will, let him come. <laughs> come and he, dine." He said. He said to the man that was. By the pool of Bethesda, mm. pick up your bed, come follow me, mm-hmm. right? And so there's something there's something very powerful when we believe God, when we exercise our faith, that we get to see God demonstrated in a way that perhaps other people don't see. Right, right. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed in with faith, faith yeah. in them that heard it. Yeah. Absolutely. So now we have the responsibility of we, we got to do something with what we hear. Yeah. We we can't just let when we're hearing this word preached, when we're hearing the word of God taught, when we're following the example of men and women that have gone before us and have done great yeah. things for God. Right. We can't just allow those things to fall on deaf ears. Mm-hmm. Right. Um <clears throat> Uh, I, I love this. Going back to the scripture, he says, it is, for, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. That tells me that faith has a way of leveling the playing field. It doesn't matter where you come from. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what your educational level is. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what your financial upbringing was or what your financial outlook is on life, if you can ever get a word from God and believe it, Mm -hmm. none of that becomes a disqualifier. That's right. You know, because I I had I had people ask uh, me, well, as a black man, I know we're on the radio. You couldn't tell I was black, hopefully. Amen. (laughs) But uh, uh, as a black man, uh, sometimes in our culture, there's this built-in teaching that there's something that's holding me back, that mm. there's someone, that there's a group of people that is holding me back, and I just don't ascribe to that. Mm-hmm. Before I got saved, I did. Mm-hmm. I actually lost a job because I lied to my boss and told him I was going to the Million Man March with the Muslims, but I didn't go. I went to a party, and at 6 in the morning, coming from the party, I'm at the gas station. And my boss walks out of this gas station. <laughs> I'm supposed to be in Washington at the Million Man March. See, because I thought my boss was holding me back. Yeah. I I shouted and screamed, you got to let me go. I'm a Muslim. I'm a black man. We're going to go march on Washington. He said, go. Man, I went to the party. He saw me. He said, ain't you supposed to be in Washington, D.C.? I said, uh, you know, I was hungover. Mm-hmm. I was like, uh, 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 I didn't know what to say. And he said, well, well, well when you get to work Monday morning, 
uh, you can go ahead and clear your stuff out. Mm -hmm. You don't lost your job. Mm -hmm. That wasn't no, nobody did that to me. I did that to right. myself. Right. But then when you get born again and you discover God is a whosoever kind of a God. Mm -hmm. And see, here's the thing too, Pastor Jason, is uh, there's no such thing as, uh, you know, I've talked to people and they say, I don't believe nothing. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you, you believe that. Yeah. You believe nothing. Yeah. You, you, your believer, your spirit, whether it's born again or not, <laughs> ha, is a belief system. Yes. And whatever you feed it, whatever you put in it, it will believe that. Yes. And so if, if uh, you know, uh, you, you think that uh, whatever race you are disqualifies you or qualifies you. Yeah. Uh, and you believe that then you're going to go through life like that. If you believe that money is your answer uh, or education is your answer and nothing wrong with money or education, just if that is your sole belief system, your believer, whatever you feed it, mm -hmm. it will believe it. Absolutely. Right. And so if we will feed our spirit, the word of God, give yes. us this day our daily bread. And not just memory verses, yes, but how to live this life of power, yes, uh, in faith. We can achieve and have victory in every area of our life. Absolutely, he he said he said for therein is the righteousness of God revealed. God wants to reveal it to us. Mm -hmm. He wants us to know it. Mm -hmm. But the only way you're going to know it is through faith. He said revealed from faith to faith. So that tells me that if I can ever engage with God on a level where my faith has a pure connection with him, mm -hmm. he's going to show me what he designed my life to be like. And I have not seen or ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man those things which God hath prepared for them, but they're revealed yes. by the Spirit, right? Yes. And that's why the natural man doesn't receive the things of the Spirit. No. Wow, our time has gotten away, Pastor Jason. Boy, there's some rich things coming out <coughs> here. Those of you that are listening... Listen, you don't want to miss a segment of this all week long. And I would encourage you, uh, you can go back into the podcast on WJMM, or you can look up our Power of Faith program on YouTube and listen to them over and over again. And if you're in the Nicholasville area, uh, Pastor Jason's church is uh, 2007 Ashgrove Drive. Yes, sir. Right? Ashgrove Road. Ashgrove Road there in Nicholasville, and uh, they would welcome you to come on in and and uh, receive God's goodness in their church. And so uh, we, <laughs> we get into this life of faith, and it is just, you know, you want to just open up somebody's head mm. and, and stuff it down in, and, and there's just not enough time. But on this tremendous... Tuesday. We will be back here tomorrow on Wonderful Wednesday. And until then, this is Pastor Philip and Pastor Jason reminding you that Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4, my favorite verse in the Bible, says this, where the word of a king is, there is power. You be a blessing.